Hello and welcome to Flixplained, the channel where we take your favorite flicks and series and break them down to ensure you don't miss a single detail. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. We saw many great shows come out in 2022, some returning and some brand new. And with so much great content out, it's hard to know if you miss something you might like or not. So, to help you out, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 most watched shows of 2022. Spy Family, Season 1. Number 10, we actually have an anime that became immensely popular with its release this year, Spy Family. The first half of season 1 premiered on April 9th, 2022, and it quickly took the world by storm and had fans demanding it to be dubbed as soon as possible. Spy Family is a really light-hearted show that anybody can enjoy, and that includes people who aren't particularly anime fans. The story revolves around a young orphan named Anya, who has the ability to read minds. Anya finds a home with a fake family made up of a spy who adopted her to keep his cover and use her as a pawn, and a mother who is secretly an assassin and is using her husband as a cover to make it seem like she lives a normal life. And along the way, the family slowly becomes more and more real, and it's just a great feeling for anyone who has watched it. The second half of the show is still in the process of airing at the time of making this video, but that hasn't stopped it from becoming the 10th most watched show in the world in 2022. The Lincoln Lawyer, Season 1 Number 9, The Lincoln Lawyer Netflix's reboot of the popular Matthew McConaughey movie gives the story a fresh take, and this time it's in the form of a series. The show centers around an idealistic lawyer who runs his law practice out of the back of his car, which of course is a Lincoln. Manuel Garcia Rolfo stars as Mickey Haller, otherwise known as the Lincoln Lawyer, and he is supported by an amazing cast including Becky Newton, who you might recognize from How I Met Your Mother, and Neve Campbell from the 1996 horror classic Scream. Season 1 of Netflix's new adaptation was released on May 13th, 2022, and since then fans have been wondering when they will begin around to dropping a second season. According to the showrunners of the series, season 2 began filming in October 2022, and is expected to be released by the summer or autumn of 2023. The Bear, Season 1 Next up, we have FX's The Bear, taking over the title of the 8th most watched show in 2022. Starring Jeremy Allen White, The Bear focuses on a restaurant in Chicago that was recently taken over by Kami, after his family member who used to own the restaurant sadly passed away. The show's first season was highly praised for its accuracy when portraying what it's like working as a part of a kitchen staff. It's chaotic, intense, and involves a lot of yelling. But at the end of the day, everyone involved becomes like a big dysfunctional family. And that's exactly what The Bear depicted. The series had a strong cast, with Jeremy Allen White taking the lead. Fans of his will likely remember him from his role as Lip from the popular series Shameless. And then you have Ebon Mas Bakrak, who is best known for playing Micro in Netflix's version of The Punisher. Season 1 of The Bear premiered on June 23rd, 2022, and contained a total of 8 episodes. Though it has been confirmed that the show will be returning for a second season, no specific date has been announced yet. Peacemaker, Season 1 For number 7, we have Season 1 of DC's Peacemaker. In the Straight to HBO series, Peacemaker brought John Cena back as the title character for the show after a strong debut in James Gunn's Suicide Squad movie. Season 1 of Peacemaker took place after the events of the Suicide Squad when after recovering from his injuries, Christopher Smith, aka Peacemaker, was forced to join Argus and work with their Black Ops squad on an op codenamed Project Butterfly. The second season of Peacemaker was officially announced in February of this year, and according to Gunn, it's going to be exploring the repercussions of both the good and the bad events we saw occur in the first eight episodes of the show. The Offer, Season 1 When The Offer's first season came out in April 2022, it was highly praised, so it's no surprise that it was the sixth most watched series of 2022. This Paramount Plus series is an interesting look at some never-before-seen, or even revealed, experiences that Albert S. Ruddy went through as he worked on the cinematic masterpiece that became The Godfather. Miles Teller starred as Albert S. Ruddy, and he was backed by a star-studded supporting cast including actors like Dan Fogler, Bern Gorman, and Colin Hanks. Sadly, despite the show being critically acclaimed and seeing a massive amount of success, Paramount ended up cancelling the project and nixing any chance that the show had of ever getting a second season. This is probably for the bear though, considering the offer was proposed as a limited series, and it managed to tell the story that it set out to tell. Adding more would mean adding fiction to a story that was mainly based on things that really happened. House of the Dragon Season 1 
Number 5, House of the Dragon. This Game of Thrones spin-off series is set about 200 years before the events of the original series, and 100 years after the Seven Kingdoms were united through the means of the Targaryen conquest. The main focus of the show is House Targaryen and the members of it that ended up leading to their decline. Everything that happens in the show is going to be set up for the Dance of the Dragon, which was a devastating war fought over who would be the successor to the Iron Throne. The first season of House of the Dragon premiered on August 21st, 2022, and has since seen an immense amount of success. The entire first season spanned over the course of 10 episodes, and by the time it was over, viewers were left wondering when season 2 would be coming out. Thankfully, only five days after the premiere of the first episode, the show got renewed for a second season, so it's only a matter of time. Chainsaw Man, Season 1 Coming in at number 4, we have another popular anime that's taking the world by storm, Chainsaw Man. Based on the popular manga series, Chainsaw Man released this past October and was so popular that even without receiving an English dub, it has made its way to being the fourth most popular show of 2022. The anime is set in a world where beings known as devils are born from the fears of humans. These devils are able to form contacts with humans who then get to use the devil and their powers to pursue anything that they desire. This had become so popular in the world that an organization known as the Devil Hunters formed in order to hunt down anyone who had formed a contract with one of these monsters. The story focuses on a young man named Denji, who is working as a devil hunter to pay off his late father's debt to the Yakuza. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out Chainsaw Man, I highly recommend it. Personally, I thought Spy Family was more fun to watch, but Chainsaw Man certainly earned its spot in today's video. Dharma, Monster, The Jeffrey Dharma Story In third place, we have Netflix's limited series Dharma, Monster, The Jeffrey Dharma Story. Dharma starred Evan Peters as he portrayed some of the most heinous portions of the serial killer's life in some of the most authentic reenactments to ever hit the TV screen. Each episode of the series had viewers thinking to themselves that it couldn't possibly get any worse, but that's exactly what would happen. The limited series was told from the perspective of an imprisoned Dharma recounting the terrible things that he had done throughout his life as a serial killer. It should be noted that the series did change a few things about Dharma's history and a few details surrounding the murders that he was involved with, but that was simply for storytelling purposes and to make the series more dramatic for viewers, which evidently worked because according to the reports, the Jeffrey Dharma story had over 856 million watch hours in less than a year. As we said, Dharma was a limited series, which means that there will be no season 2. However, the creator did announce that they were going to be producing more limited series like Dharma that explore the lives and crimes of other heinous killers such as John Wednesday, Season 1. The Addams Family returned this past November in Netflix's hit series Wednesday, and their return was triumphant, making their first season the second most watched series of 2022. As soon as Wednesday was released, it hit the top of the charts on Netflix, and as of the time we're making this video, it's still in the top 10 list on Netflix's site. Wednesday was a fresh reboot on The Addams Family and mainly focused on the life of Wednesday after being forced to enroll in her parents' alma mater, the Nevermore Academy. It was there that Wednesday found herself in the center of a monstrous murder mystery that had fans hitting the next episode, until sadly, they had finished up all eight of them. Wednesday has been viewed over 1.19 billion hours in just the first month of being released. And in doing so, it has become Netflix's third watch show in the history of the streaming service. And thanks to that, it was recently renewed for a second season. Stranger Things Season 4 Last but not least, we have the third Netflix entry in a row and the first returning series in the entire video, Stranger Things Season 4. Releasing three years after the third season, Stranger Things 4 was all the fans could talk about for months. Let's put it this way, the season was so good that you could ignore the fact that all of the kids were now being played by young adults, even though in the show, almost no time had gone by. The season followed the Stranger Things group working to figure out a way to save their town from the clutches of the evil Vecna. Vecna seemed to be using some sort of upside down dark magic to target and ultimately kill people in the real world, and use them as sacrifices to open a portal between the upside down and reality. The season added in some great new characters, and saw the return of some season 1 characters as well. All in all, it was Netflix's most popular show to come out this year, and ended up being the most watched show in the world. Stranger Things is slated to return for a fifth and final season in 2024, and according to the creators, it's going to be mind-blowing. What was your favourite show that was released this past year? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out our video on the top 10 best movies of 2022, and leave a like and subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss a single upload.